Roll a dice. <laughs> Anything. Give me damage. One d six. Is it plus anything because I'm a guard? I plus one of strength. Word, that sounds yeah, like plus, a kebab with ciabatta bread one, and no cabbage mix. <laughs> okay. A kebab, abba, 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 Nice. Six damage. Okay. I could have done that. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> wrestling with each other amidst the fray, the carnage, uh, and, and and the fighting, the, the melee that is that is become mostly your own team hurting each other. Um, <laughs> he grabs the spear of, Hurry, Mr. Hero. of Roderick, and <laughs> they're both stabbing their spears into the ground. Mr. Hero lurching back and forth to dodge the spears. Uh, the demon child screeches up <laughs> one last time as the spear actually finds Perch's directly through no. its throat, pinning nice. it to the ground. It's dead. Uh, Good job. Nice. Good job. Just bumble <laughs> fuck your way through every fight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Jor, you play with us for like 10 or 12 weeks now, you should know. Yep, that's the end of that's the end of the game. a chance yeah. to be as autistic as possible. You should have put <laughs> Can... To be fair, I did. I, I, I even... don't like it worse. <laughs> It's only getting worse from here. Oh, oh right. Um, Hero's gonna put one, one eye, look around, and slowly stand up and go, Ah, oh, uh, <laughs> I did it! <laughs> you are most welcome, everyone. Please. So, Go oh, is convinced that he actually did it and is absolutely astounded with Mr. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, hey, interesting, interesting. Okay, wonderful. Um, is anybody else doing anything after after the melee? I'm going to give you just a few seconds to get give me give me like a, a line from each of your characters if you'd like, because I'm going to continue on. Uh, no. Nope. Well, the orc says uh, uh, work's done, uh, uh, and the <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, butcher is definitely going to start trying to hack off one of the limbs of this boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent, excellent. Hacks That's off a hacks off a limb. Go ahead and write it in your inventory if you take a limb. Okay, I should write uh, down. Go yeah, wants to go up to Mr. Hero and just go. How so powerful? <laughs> oh, my friend, that is the question. <laughs> and you go just gonna go. Come on, just go. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Hero's gonna reach to his pouch and pull out his book and show uh, Go the title. This is where my power stems from. Knowledge. Go <laughs> will read. <laughs> what do you mean? Go will read the title, turn to his tail, and go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no. pat him on the shoulder and go, there you go, my friend. Now you shall too heal the power of a true hero. Alrighty. Excellent. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just to move on a little bit. That was, that was good. I, I loved it. I love that. Um, the demon child lays dead in the street. Uh, everyone proceeds down the road unless there are any objections this is a one way let me set the scene for you once again because i feel like i'm being a little bit unclear you guys live on the very outskirts of town there is a single road that leads into the town towards the church you're not seeing anything on the sides of the bill uh sides of the road unless i specify otherwise everything is blanketed with this thick encroaching fog uh you dare not step off of the road into it for fear of what happened earlier um unless you want to uh in which case you know we'll role play that um so uh, as you're, so Glenn go ahead. looks up Glenn looks up at all the towering people around him and he hops onto the demon child's box. Nobody touch it <laughs> and he's gonna start collecting its spit in a vial. <laughs> right, one vial <laughs> of blood and demon spit. <laughs> yes, that's Thank awesome. You. <laughs> Excellent. One vial of blood and demon spit in your uh, inventory. Jordan, there was a mother here, correct? There is a corpse of a woman, yes. The baker. Oh, okay, Jordan. I thought... Uh, can go check her pockets for food? Yes. Investigation check. Nice. 
This music seems more appropriate, quite honestly. For this uh, moment, seven. yeah. Seven. Seven. Uh, you check her pockets for food, but find nothing. Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. Okay. Uh, Jordan. Yes. Can uh, Pierre search around for the knife he threw? You search around easily enough, you found it. Sweet. Excellent. But yeah, no, no, no need for that. You know, you, you know, he understands the trajectory of which you threw it. Um, okay. okay. As your party continues down the road, an older dilapidated house sits off the side of the road to the west. An old woman known as Reese the Seer sits at a small wooden table, uh, her face hidden by a cloaked hood. Yes, go ahead. You said, she said uh, Reese the Seer or Reese sits at a table? Reese the Seer sits at a small wooden table. Okay, you said it all. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, her face hidden by a cloaked hood. Small candles on the table reflect off a steaming cup of tea amid bleached bones of small animals. A wrinkled, bony hand reaches for the tea as the voice from under the hood speaks dryly. So, or you managed to withstand the effects of the fog, have you? That might be something special. She takes a quick sip oh. of her tea and glances up at you with blank, blind eyes. Uh, okay. You're of your characters for the play. This lady's also just like on the street. She's off the side of the road on a hut. She's at a table in an. In the, the hut is um, the hut is open. You can see directly into it. Uh, well, she's it is, simply sorry. sitting at a table outside of it. Is that dark mist we can't see through? Is that surrounding the hut, or is like is is it, is it illuminated around the hut at all? Like the fog and mist situation around the hut. What's that? that that's a good question. Uh, as you look at her and try to investigate the fog, you see that it appears to dare not go near her, even though there are no lights other than the candles at her table. Yes, we have, wise woman. All thanks to me and my potion. Might I concoct one for you to save you from the fog? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, give it so uh the so, Minotaur uh, will say, I suggest you not drink that <laughs> He's like Ed from Ed and Eddie, he'll do anything for a quarter. Uh -huh. Um that was Eddie. Ed was a stupid one. You're the stupid one. Uh, Reese. <laughs> Reese. Ooh, it's a burn, bro. Uh, Reese continues to look at you. Her fi smile fades from her face. Um, she looks very Reese serious. Reese right? At the. At, uh, she's, she's, he has a cup of tea. Um, yeah, but there's a spoon nearby. Investigation check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alex glad you noticed that too, Alex. <laughs> but you can't see it for him. No, 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 no spoons can be seen in the area. Go, go we'll go, uh, we must send our most powerful ally and push Mr. Hero forward. <laughs> <laughs> He's really hurt. But imagine, like, he's bleeding, with, like, his face and all over his body. Yeah, uh, dude, I, so, like, I would shamble forward, but like, uh, yes, Kang, yes, walk towards woman and go <clears throat> ignore my friend. He is not who saved us all from these demons. It was I, Mr. Hero. Now, what can you tell us about the church bell and these demons? Uh, she glances up at you again, her face cold. Uh, her frown seems to sink almost below uh, her neckline from the wrinkles in her face, and then suddenly she begins to cackle. <laughs> uh, then she licks her lips, leaps down at the table, swipes up all the bones in one claw, uh, and rolls them on the table. Uh, she looks over them, grabs your hand, quickly uh, out from under you and presses her finger hard against your palm. Looking back up at Mr. Hero, she says, I can tell you many things, but at a cost. She pulls a small dagger from the side 
but plants it in the table and goes, one gold per fortune telling. Fuck this. <laughs> Mr. Hero is gonna frown and he goes, I only have five. Five fortunes for the brave hero. Don't you want to know how many maidens you could save tonight? Melee hands are all five coins. Ooh. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all of the money in the entire party, yeah. Shut up and take all my money. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reese begins to roll uh, the bones on the table. Give me one second. Let me find, my, let me find the correct dice. Use this one real quick so everyone can see what I roll. Bone dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. She rolls the bones on the table. Roll them bones. Them, shifting them, but not moving them at all. Her first reading, she looks at him and goes, ah, The first reading was a dud. No refunds! <laughs> That's sex. Uh. She looks again at the bones after she rolls. She stops on a quick one. Looks like the skull of a rat. And she goes, ah, yes, here. You see, unguarded riches for the taking just down the road. Again, she rolls her dice. The third roll. A one. Again, she looks at the dice, this time stopping on one, almost to your knowledge, looking like perhaps some kind of skull of an animal, maybe, but nothing you've ever seen. She reels back in her chair for just a moment and goes, Ah, unfortunately, death awaits, ripped apart by shadows. Fourth roll. Hmm. The bones do not tell me certainties, just oh. notes of the future. Gotta frown and go, are you sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> Even if I am not getting a refund. I'll roll again. Sorry, go ahead. We, we could get a refund. She looks tasty. <laughs> so. Uh, she goes, do what you will, monster. I cannot fight back, but I can promise you, <laughs> your journey will be much worse off without my help. Uh, is, 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 do I notice her as a patron of the town, as the guard? Do I know if she's from here? Let's recheck. Sorry to interrupt. No, don't don't be sorry. Absolutely, tell me these things. Uh, sick. I got an eight. An eight. Um... You you don't recognize Reese, but you do. But you have heard of her. Um, everyone in town keeps a wide berth of Reese the Seer. Uh, be, she is one of the oldest people in the town, and she was here at its founding. Uh, it is said rumor that there are actually still uh, carns and other obelisks of old relics around the town of the Seer gods. Reese is one of their acolytes. Okay, uh, Rubberuck the guard will put his spear in front of Mentor as if to stop him and go, Oi, ease your gullet. Listen to what she has to say. Uh, she looks up and goes, Why, thank you. You seem like one who will have great fortune tonight. Ooh. He's gonna, he's gonna look at his mm. brother and go, Told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn leans into the Minotaur and he... I know we've had our differences, but if you do choose to eat her, I would like some strands of her hair, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you don't finish, you know, it's fine with me. Just leave a little something for the party. Uh, uh, Rebecca will steadily hold his spear in front of the Minotaur, stopping his advance. If oh. He so. Fair, yeah, he would have. He would have started walking forward, but he'll he'll, he'll cease. <laughs> <clears throat> but 
but okay. I am hungry. <laughs> Toss three more fortune. <laughs> two, two, two more, more. There are two more fortunes. Actually, there's one more because I rolled, but I haven't gotten to the conclusion of it yet. Um, how how close so, is the Minotaur uh, to this this seer at this point? Can I like? Can I reach her if I if I reach out and like can yeah. I just <laughs> all right he's he'll stop at the spear. Uh, I'm 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 going to I'm going to I'm like like I said like uh, I'm I'm going to tell you guys where you're moving if you okay. if you ever need clarification let yeah. let me know and I will let you. You yeah. have gathered around Greece. Uh, okay. When you walked off the road to the side as soon as the first one you approached them, everyone who has spoken since I had assumed that you get that you come to Reese's table. Okay, so he'll he'll uh, he'll reach so the, around the spear and he's just gonna see if he could just pluck off a piece of her hair and hand uh, it to. Yeah, Robert will go uh, back me up on this big guy to his brother. Mother's he, mother's favor is gonna whap uh, the minotaur on the back of his spear. What? <laughs> you guys didn't. Hand, give me a, give me give me an attack roll. Oh no. <laughs> Oh man. Yes! <laughs> you just chop off his hand. He's using the butt of the spear. Rude. That's a natural 20. Yeah, I, I, I understand exactly what he's doing. Uh, so, um, uh, with the spear. No. <laughs> Can I roll like a. This one big guy. Oh. Can I roll a dex check no. to see if I get it, to get it first? Oh, all right, all right. No. <laughs> He rolled an attack. You didn't tell me you were trying to pluck it out real quick. You said I've reached around. There. <laughs> uh, okay. So um, with with that, uh, I back me up on this one, big guy. Almost immediately, the spear comes down uh, in a vertical arc, the back side of it, flat end, uh, right across the knuckles <laughs> of the minotaur. His hand lurches all the way back behind the spear. It doesn't take any damage, but that hurts something fierce. <laughs> I'm gonna growl uh, angrily at the Minotaur. Glenn, <laughs> <laughs> who was standing next to the Minotaur, just goes, "Oh boy!" and just backs up and goes <laughs> behind Dez, hiding behind Ezreal. Get in your fortune, noise. Miss. Um, she nods her head to you, uh, and by "to you," I mean directly in front of her. Uh, you notice as she looks up at the party, she doesn't seem to address anybody specifically. Her eyes say very straight, but when glancing down at the bones, they dart back and forth rapidly. She goes, as I was saying, young ones, ah, yes, go this, ahead. Ne this next fortune, a life in peril needs saving soon. You will come across them for your final fortune. Before the final forging, can go look behind mm -hmm. him. Yes. Does uh, see anything? Perception check. Where did my D twenty go? I'm gonna use this one. At the middle of the table. That was Rowan's roll. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Go glances behind him down the street. Quickly, he sees into the darkness once again. The shadows uh, all around. He sees the gathered at the edge of the mist off the opposite side of the road. Um, as he glances, they dart back into the woods, all different shapes and sizes, insectoid, some others blobular. Um, <laughs> they're gone from him for now, and he doesn't sense any immediate danger from them. But his keen reptile senses do begin to pick up something in the air. He smells barbecued meat, perhaps? Roasting cedar? Something's burning. Mm. Uh, the... Go will, go will keep to himself and let the lady finish. Okay. Uh, final fortune, she says, gathering all, all the bones up in her two hands this time, lifting them high above the table and dropping them into the dice roller. Cool. <laughs> she looks at the bones. <laughs> Ah, all the free ale that you can drink. Ooh, that sounds that's nice. That's what she says. Swag. <laughs> uh, Go here. tries to count on his fingers how much all the ale would be and gets confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Go looks back up at you and goes, You want these many fortunes I have given you tonight? may come to pass at any time. 
be on the lookout. Okay. Um, can I tell which direction that smell was from Go? Yes. Uh, in Go's head, it is directly down the street to the fork on the right. They are coming to a fork fairly soon as Go's memory serves. Uh, he used to go into the town for assorted meats and spices. This appears to be coming from that direction. Yeah, if if, if uh, I would like to have the Minotaur already heading in that direction. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the Minotaur knows that he can smell the food yet. He is a gluttonous pig. If there's food around, he smells but, but like... Don't, smell don't, don't, don't even tell smell him. The food. Oh. Unless the Minotaur just knows that's where the food is held. <laughs> <laughs> he would. I mean, he lives here. <laughs> um, real quick. Uh, before you start moving, Mr. Hero's going to glance down at the woman and all the bones and kind of mutter, I didn't hear anything about any maidens. Um, <laughs> as you walk walk. away, she hears uh, you mutter that, grabbing your hand, and she goes, Don't worry, young one. You've already made one maiden very happy this evening. Showing you uh, her missing teeth in her mouth. She grins very widely and raises her eyebrows a few times. Uh, he shudders. <laughs> <laughs> She cackles, <laughs> crying deeply. Uh, she cackles to herself, um, getting up from her table with her cup of tea. She walks into her hut, and as she does, she takes the candle with her and blows it out. Deep inside of her she house, the, the shadows. In her. Oh, that's cool. The coins, the, 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 look, glancing back at the table, you didn't see her pick them up, but they're already gone. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Now, join joins the rest of the party. Uh, moment. Pick up my notes. <clears throat> okay. So, is the, is the meat and bell yeah. the same side of the fork or the opposite sides of the fork? As you walk down to this to the road, there is a fork. Um, you're unfamiliar exactly where this leads, but uh, because you're so disoriented by the night, but Go knows that if you take the right direction down the fork, you will go towards the burning smell. And uh, to the left, we don't know. Don't you can't remember exactly. Okay, I'll just turn to the party as a go and just go, me, and point to the right. Say no more. <laughs> the the Minotaur will start heading towards that direction. Okay. Uh, Question. Yes. As a as a chef, can I discern what I'm smelling, as in like what kind of meat cooked? Give give me the um, give me give me a, a history roll and tell me what it is. What what dice is that? That's a d twenty. That's a two. A two. Okay. Um. <laughs> So, you don't recall any specific uh, burning meat from this direction, <laughs> but then you're not sure why you would. Um, you're trying to think of where you pick them up from from time to time, but all of that knowledge escapes you in the moment of the night. Uh, you follow the team blindly uh, in the direction uh, of the burning meat smell. And I'd like to say, Go heard the fortune of people being ripped apart by a shadow, so he will place himself between people, so he's not in the back of the pack, and he doesn't want to be in the front either. Okay. So. Got it. Okay. Um, so as you come nearing the end of the road towards the fork, uh, you take the right section down and begin to travel towards where Go said there was burning meat. None of you particularly uh, smell it yet. The fog in this direction seems to have changed. 
is bellowing down the center of the road in thick gray curls. But it doesn't look the same as the fog as before. This somehow is lighter, different. Oh. In place of a menacing ebony shadows figures, yellow and orange shadows now begin to dance at the edges of your vision. A child's scream breaks the silence of the night, and the cry for Cheers, help where it's comes not water, the but smoke I'm drinking reaches it. your nose. The smell of burning meat is coming from the Pierce household. Uh, continue down the road <clears throat> and walk closer uh, to in the increasing plumes of fog, looking up at a soot-covered face in the top window of the doorway. A young boy screams out to you for help. You see the oh. entire building ablaze. He is above the doorway, but his jump would mean certain death. The doorway is open. Uh, you can clearly see a way in. Do you risk to rescue the child? I need two people, should they wish. It'll the, whole, the 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 doorway will hold two people at once. Why don't we just risk Mr. Hero lying Ooh, on the ground and on, soften wait, his blow? Hold on. <laughs> Real quick. Do we might count as one or uh, two people. That's, that's a... I was going to ask the same question. <laughs> Be politically correct here, Jordan. You're gonna hurt our feelings. What? Uh, what? I said. I said you're two. I said you're two, two people wise. So you count. I oh, Jordan, is out you're of the stuff. I know. I know. I know. Sorry. You got the high score right now. Oh <gasps> yes, yes, the hash recipe. Yes, Moo. Yes, I need that. Yes, thank you. Thank you for asking, Moo. Oh, I didn't know if you saw it. No, please don't, dude. I love. Cool. There's nothing that makes me happier than food, Kang. I appreciate you guys talking about this. Like, I want everything we had just mentioned. I need tacos. I want. I want this all. Okay. Uh, I was hungry I'll before the stream started, me. so this is perfect. Well, now spiking again. <laughs> well, we could hear you. Damn it! Yeah, you're. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 I think we're good. Uh, I think we're good. Sorry. sorry. The, the twins are. The twins are uh, two people wide. To make the door, it could only be them if they went. Um, but Jimmy, uh, to your to, to to your question, you can certainly try. Oh no no yeah. no! I don't put him. No no the I'm not her him. answer. Uh, uh d it, this is not where the smell of the food is coming from, right? It is. Okay. Um. Oh crap! I didn't say. And by the way, I didn't say food. I said roasting meat. Ooh. Uh, should I like roll the? I need if... to go. That's there's no difference, but still. Yeah. <clears> hey. <throat> should you should go for one? Oh. <clears throat> Mother's S favor is just gonna look at his brother and go. Do you think we should go in? Bah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Right here, big boy. Bah. <laughs> and I'm going to. We're gonna try and walk in. Okay, uh, Jimmy, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I, I was just, like I was trying to see if I was a, like a, if, if I found the smell alluring with the uh, Minotaur. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you do. Yeah, like I said, it smells like bar with with your ravenous hunger. It smells like barbecued meat. Okay, he's gonna also try to go Would in you for want sure. To go in. Yeah. <laughs> So now there's so now there's two technically characters, but three people trying to enter. <laughs> Go ahead and give me Dex versus Dex. All right, Travis, we've trained for this. Freeze we're, it. we're doing a competition. Freeze it! Oh, I feel so good. Uh -huh. I'll have to carry us. Nineteen. <laughs> Don't you do it, Jimmy? Don't you fucking do it? He gets a plus 14. one too. Fifteen. 19. 19. Out of five. So I beat half of you. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up, bro. We're our own first. You beat one of us. God. <laughs> so, dashing, dashing through the doorway, all three entities uh, are, are running towards it, all three people at the same time, uh, or one and a half. Yeah, um, that's true. I, I forgot that they even enabled that, Gale. They enabled that. Zeeples? <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, well, like a month ago? Uh, as, as quick as a flash. Oh, so you guys can't spam it. Got for it. The smell of roasting meat. Is it per person uh, or is it unfortunately, per, for the chat? Unfortunately, actually stopped again. 
uh, this time by uh, what's his what's his fucking face? I'm sorry, Ru- 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 Rubric. 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 Who is a uh, who is who is a bit faster, cock blocking the Minotaur once, getting his spear in the way, and glaring at him, <laughs> uh, making a go noise at him. Unfortunately, Mother's favorite is left behind this time, uh, slinking hey, to the door. Actually, makes it to the door. <laughs> he makes it to the door frame as all three are stuck uh, now because not everyone passed. Everyone make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. Uh, angrily, Rupert will go, bah. Ten. Sixteen. And Jimmy? Am I, am I, I thought I, oh, I thought I was not in there. Dexterity start, my friend. That's not fair. I'm not in there. They pushed me out. <laughs> no, not, no, you're stuck in the doorway. Fourteen. Fifteen, Fifteen with Dex. Okay. I got a Fifteen with Dex. Too fast. Fifteen with Dex. <laughs> the, um, the, the fire now reaching up as Mother's Favorite slams into the side of the door frame. All three of them stop and look up. They hear a crackling coming from the, the structure that they have just compromised the integrity of. With a leap of faith, all three dash into the fire. Breaking into the house, a log crashes down in the doorway, blocking their escape. Uh, from here on out, all three of you now need to make two dexterity saving throws to see if you can make it to the top floor unless of course jimmy wants to make a perception saving throw right now to find out where the smell of meat is coming that from. is a hundred you decide what is more important to torture. meat fresh toasty meat <laughs> 15. perception <sighs> is minus one 14. Also, the music stopped the bit. I, I got it. I got you. I got you. Oh, you're good. It's... Uh, I'm just going to replay this one. That's cool. Everybody. Can the characters uh, on the outside try to move the blockage of the doorway if they see that happen? Joe's not going to do it. Fuck that shit. Who's going to do it? Uh, Who's going to try? I, would, I mean, I would try with the orc character. He's... Okay. Let me tell you what happens real quick, and then sure. I'll go ahead and let you give me a strength save. And again, sure. okay, okay, only you. I'll let I'll let the orc give me a saving or give, okay. me, a, give me a strength. Give yeah. Me a strength um, so, um, sniffing into the house, uh, getting up from where they all fell in a pile of each other, kind of pushing the twins off of himself with his huge girth, sniffing the air. Um, DP coughs deeply, but does smell the burning meat coming from the bottom floor in the back room. He can smell precisely where it is in the house. Uh, give me a strength saving throw and then uh, tell me what your minotaur is doing. Uh, but the the strength saving throw yeah, for yeah, yeah. which character? Give me the for the peon. For the, for the, for the peon? For uh, he has a sickle, so I think if he can, what he'd like to do is like wrap the, the tip of the sickle around the log and try to drag it so he doesn't burn his hands if it's all on fire. Oh, intelligent. Give me a plus one. To the roll? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Uh, 11? I think his strength is 10. Yep, his strength uh, is 10. So 11 with a plus one. Unfortunately, this is a very large log. Uh, it is the top of the house that was going to make this hard, and unfortunately, you didn't pass. He wraps the sickle and begins to pull with all his strength. He's a strong farmer, but a farmer nonetheless. Uh, lurching at this heavy log with his sickle, he's able to budge it and move it, but not get it out of the doorway. Um, Me, not that kind of orc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he relents uh, as his muscles begin to fatigue. Uh, your minotaur, tell me real quick so I can get to some deck saving throws from Travis and Wilson. Well, I'll say that Rubric will just turn to the uh, minotaur and go, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> this is your fault. I didn't want to go in here. I bad, was bad, 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 bad. Do it. Don't take that tone with me. <laughs> I will leave you here. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? And then to that, Rupert is just going to turn his head and cross his arms. 
Jesus Christ. So very very good, very dope. Okay. Um so our our sorry, I do want to get through our Minotaur is doing what exactly? Is he going to follow the smell of the meat, yes or no? Yes, a hundred percent. Yes. He he that's all he cares about. Our butcher minotaur dives into the <laughs> bottom of the house, pushing past uh, the fire, pushing past the areas around himself, shrouded by shade and smoke. He gets to the back room where he finds the two Pierce parents and the grandparents laying amidst the furniture, their bodies caught ablaze, some of them charred, some of them perfectly medium rare. He falls to his knees, <laughs> having found a banquet finally <laughs> worth his taste as the ceiling around him collapses. No. The Minotaur is dead. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> the first casualty. No! <laughs> He's right. I'm being retarded. <laughs> How do you keep it your hero to death? I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> He's dressed like a serious death wish. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, we'll talk about that later. We have to continue. Everybody, uh, sorry, <laughs> both of you, give me two dexterity rolls right now. That is whopping zero hit points. It will flip uh, over the cook. Retired. Eight. Okay. 816. Are you serious? What the- wait, huh? What the- We're, we're dead yeah, here. What's up? <laughs> bro, what? My minute's right, died. Super easy. Okay. My character died, yeah. <laughs> You're like individuals, Jordan. Come on. No, <laughs> they can't make me. <laughs> um, same birthday, same outcome. Uh, so, um, you, finally realizing, I'm uh, seeing the Minotaur fall off and hearing the crack katoom down on him. You are gonna shrug our shoulders at the same time when that happens. Well yeah, you you shrug your shoulders, but then you're shocked. Staring <laughs> 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 at each other, you Not beat each other's really. legs instantly without a word, knowing exactly what you're supposed to do. Um jumping from your place on the ground, you feel another beam fall directly where you are. You find the stairs, sure enough, beginning to climb them. Um even with your shambling frame, the the intensity of the moment has pushed you. Uh, your motor skills are better than ever, leaping and dashing. Uh, you find the young Pierce, but just as you enter the room, another log falls from the side. Both of you are hit exactly where you are conjoined. <clears throat> uh, you take 1d6, fire damage <gasps> each. Ooh. It is, I'm just gonna roll one thing, because whatever, both get hit at the same time. Actually, since that was a fucking astounding roll, <laughs> uh, and I don't know how you do it at the same time. I'm gonna be weird about this shit. You both take three because it literally hits you where you're conjoined. <laughs> three each. Well done. I wouldn't have done that otherwise, but that was fucking insane. I can't believe you rolled like that. Anyway, this is your fault. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> I did for it. Um, uh, thank you. Actually, my mic died. You did that at the perfect time. <laughs> so to reiterate what Jordan was saying, bah. is the woman that is the young person dead? Can we tell? What what book? Jonathan Pierce is a young boy. He's a child and he's alive. Uh, is that God? So is, is the is the log blocking our path, or did it hit us and roll to the side? It hit you and broke over your frame. Um, is there it's now on the ground. You're not. You're not. You're not blocked okay. at all by it. I'm gonna rub our thigh in pain. <laughs> is there a window, like in that room we're in with the boy? There is. It's the window. Sure, it's, we actually have twin Lesby, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Let's do mother's it. favorite is going to wordlessly point to the child, point to the window, and give you and uh give you a nod. I will nod back. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try and grab the child and jump out the window. Okay, not really what I was thinking, but... <laughs> 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 I've already nodded. He thinks you have goat legs. 
comes out of window. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just love the that like the orc is just like like so shocked. He's just like, wait, what? Hold on. Okay, we're on a second story, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. survivable. It's not a death oh. hole. Okay. I, I don't know. So as, as Travis grabs it and jumps us out the window, I'm just gonna go. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my idea is like we we weren't gonna be able to get out. Don't try that. I like it. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, this is right, weird. What are we doing? Twins. Let me give me let me give me a second. Okay, Travis, give me a dexterity saving throw. William, give me a give me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, oh god. No. Yes. Oh, wow. God. Nineteen. <laughs> For the love of God. Uh, wait, I, what was what? my throw? Constitution. So oh, I get, I get, oh, I only have ten. Okay, yeah. no, it's a uh, thirteen. Oh, we're guard strength. Yeah, thirteen. Okay. So, tr <laughs> mother's favorite uh, dashes for the boy, literally dragging uh, his brother along with him by the thigh. Matt, <laughs> shrinks towards the window. He dive tackles the boy out of the window, uh, sticking his conjoined powerful leg in front of him the twin muscles landing on the ground first he rolls to one side but the boy comes down actually after as he kind of releases his hand falling directly uh on <laughs> to rubric in the back rubric takes 1d4 <laughs> damage from the boy landing on him but the boy is completely fine uh rubric take two damage um but you have made it out of the house successfully covered in soot and blackness one minotaur down, but quite alive. Congratulations. Oh. And uh, there goes my hero by Aerosmith play. <laughs> also not Aerosmith, but okay. Whatever. Who <laughs> fighters? Oh, that's the same. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Travis 2020. <laughs> Sounds the same. Ooh. Um. <laughs> tank yeah, that was tank barbecue. For, uh, was that not the name? That was fucking epic. <laughs> All right. Um, as as you hit the ground, as uh, against the chest, Jonathan Pierce um, lands on his knees <laughs> and looks up at you. Um, he then puts his head back down, wrapping his arms tightly around you in an embrace. Um, you all look back at the house. Everyone who is left in the street stares up at it as they hear the crackling, roaring of fire continuing the house begins to cave. It breaks and falls in on itself. Uh, Jonathan Pierce in the middle of the street now goes to Rubric and says, thank you. Thank both of you so much. He <laughs> says it was all me, and I agree. <laughs> At the sight of the house collapsing, Glenn is gonna go No And then he's gonna turn to Dez and go Dez help me And we're gonna go try to get to what's left of the Minotaur if possible. Oh thanks man. The flaming wreckage of a building that's still on fire. <laughs> uh, if it's possible. If it's possible. <laughs> It's the flaming wreckage of a building. Do you want to crawl into it? I'm going to give you fire damage. Um. You'd know. You'd know. <laughs> give me the sucker, Jordan. Okay. I do, are there any... Is there any... <laughs> roll a DC... Any, roll, roll, roll a DC 20 investigation check. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. What? Could you're Hold 120 on, of the night. Come on. You're 120. Yeah, fuck the thing. Ooh. Oh, fucking uh, That's investigation, so plus one. So oh, 18. my. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who needs attacking? Is there any stuff? appendages or pieces of the Minotaur in the wreckage that I can see? Oh! No! Oh, I thought you <laughs> loved <laughs> him. <laughs> Jordan. Real quick. Hold on. Hold that, on. That, yes. Before you answer that, remember that we were rubbing up against the Minotaur. You could have some of his hairs on us. Jumping up on top of the twins, standing on the back of Jonathan Pierce, pushing him down onto Rubrik's back, glaring into the fire, desperately looking and piercing. You just managed to think you see perhaps the bullish tail 
of the Minotaur sticking out from the rubble. Can I make a dex throw to push him off of me? Yes. Sweet. Sorry, strength. Strength. Okay, strength check. Six. <laughs> you stand up and he falls off. <laughs> Wait, we had, did you add one to it? He said that, didn't he? I did. Yes, oh, yeah. Uh, what do, what do you what do you want to what do you want to do, Alex? Uh, Glenn is going to turn to Dez and um, and look at the sickle and go. Hand that to me, Dez, will you? <laughs> and Dez is going to hand it to him, and he's going to go and try to hack the Minotaur tail off. <laughs> no, you could have used a medicine check. <laughs> More than Kane. Thank you so much for hitting that follow button. Welcome into the Shake the Box family. How are you? Welcome in. <laughs> of course. Thank you, Word. Leaping. Check out our links. Into the fire, sickle in hand, again, oh, slow motion. Oh my god. Raining down just before he lands at the tail. Boof, into the ground, waist deep. The flames begin to lick him. 1d4 fire damage. Screaming out in pain for the rest of the party. Go ahead. <laughs> One damage. Uh, while the fire is burning me, am I next to the tail? Can I at least take some axe <laughs> at it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. It's in range. Right, You're going to butcher the attack, butcher? An attack roll? An attack, you miss if you hit oh, a natural one. You miss terrible. if you lose the scythe. Sorry, sickle. Hold on, my mouse sucks. Wait. You no, really that wasn't a roll. Ah! Or it was a, it's a, it's an AC of one. Uh, swinging, swiping, and slashing. You're just able to nick the bottom of it. It cuts clean off, uh, and flies outside of the wreckage uh, with the curve of the sickle. <laughs> right, I'm gonna grab it and climb out. <laughs> Can't Stop climb out. It's tough. Can I get no. Dez to help him out? Sure. You take one more T4 fire damage for the next turn because you took, a, you took a swipe instead of trying to get up, so... Do it. Do it. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. Four hit points left. As you move, as you're straining, you're actually uh, moving the fire, bellowing it with your legs. <laughs> it licks up again in your face. He screams just as he cuts the tail loose. It flies free. Dez walks casually over to him, lifting him, his tiny gnome body, now charred all the bottom way through, his literally soles of his shoes melting off and plops him down <laughs> at the side right on top of the minotaur tail. Add a Minotaur tail to your, uh... No. To, to your, to your Make sure you don't write the Minotaur tail. Make sure you write the tail of the butcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an epic recipe item. Demon child oh. spitting blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn to the rest of the party. I'm gonna go. Do you have any idea? How expensive the minotaur tail is? <laughs> when you can't get these anymore. <laughs> you roll a dice. The minotaur tail is very expensive. He's right. So I just want to go hearing that, that thing is a nice item. He wants to try to take it from his hands. He said you can't get him anymore. Go wants it. Dex, Dex versus Dex. <laughs> he sound like a, like a a Christmas elf, <laughs> and I I freaking love He's it. He's a gnome. <laughs> Uh, it says 19 if you mouse over it. 19. 5 versus 19? Uh, no, it's, it, it, it's 4. I got minus 1 on Dex. <laughs> 4. <laughs> Mesmerized by the idea of needing something that is so rare and interesting. It's, uh, it's, it's the only one on Earth to go. Reaches out his hand, but the Minotaur tail is long gone back in the paws of the green gnome before his hand even closes around thin air. Go looks back at his hand, confused that the tail isn't in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the gnome quickly shuffles it away from the lizard man. I, uh, I'm gonna stuff it into my pocket, or at least try to, like a little foot of the top is probably <laughs> hanging out of it. And, uh, and I'm gonna say to go, uh... 
you better hold on to your teeth, because those are going to be mine as soon as you perish. Go will look at him, <laughs> open his mouth, and grab a single tooth. Just look at him. <laughs> Slowly, Go grabs onto his Literally teeth. Grabs he on very confused. Teeth. And then Go will go, Mine, not yours. <laughs> For the time being, friend. <laughs> a friend? Oh <laughs> That's what a friend says. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so, um, the boy, uh, young Jonathan Pierce, uh, now looking up at you just in the nick of time um, that you've saved him, uh, Pierce relays to you again, thank you for saving him. Uh, he then tells you that I saw some kind of creature fly out of the house. Mother and father, my grandparents, they were all killed in Does the night. hat on? I was taken, taken to the church. They snuck me out in a hole in the wall before they did whatever they did to all the other villagers. That's where they are. They're all in the church. I ran home, but my parents were already dead. And that thing, that thing lit my entire house on fire. I ran upstairs just to watch it fly away. He says this to uh, Rubik. Uh, well, Travis is on the phone right now, and Rubik oh. is eyeing. Uh, <laughs> so he will go. Bah, 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 bah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jonathan Pierce, <laughs> through streams of tears, <laughs> and sucking blood, looks confused. Uh, and then, without saying another word, pushes off of Rupert's chest, <laughs> walks over <laughs> uh, to, to Ricky, who is still holding Claire, and says... Again, the exact <laughs> same thing he just said, with the exact same inflection. <laughs> uh, Ricky, Ricky will respond uh, with the following words. He will say to the boy, I cannot help you. Claire is all I care about. Ricky falls to his knees, frightened and alone clutching his eyes as tears stream from his face. Wait, Ricky does that? <laughs> sorry, not Ricky, Jonathan. I'm, I'm so sorry. Jonathan does that. <laughs> Ricky doesn't do that. You're Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is anybody not going to help the kid. <laughs> is anybody else? Is anybody else? Uh, I'll move on. Is, is anybody else going to say anything to Ricky? I mean, Jonathan. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> Oh, the, shit. The, Got it. The okay. orc looks up um, in the sky oops. and then looks at uh, the, uh, I was gonna say the orc looks up uh, at the sky and then looks at the kid and he goes, Something need doing? In the center of the road. St tears dripping from his face. Uh now he's clutching himself in a hug. Um, okay, so who is outside? Me? <laughs> Me? Sure. The cook. Uh, Andrew. Uh, um, yes. Your, your, your cook character. Uh, yes. I yeah. want you to roll, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll, <laughs> roll, ahead and roll a perception check with a negative one. I hope not, Monty. Okay. Right. One. And the number is, oh my god. Six. So I got a five. Five. I'm I'm proud of that. If anything. I okay. Uh. All right. <coughs> Just wanted to know if you passed or failed that. All right. One second. That's probably a pass. And we'll go ahead and move on. It's probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it'll yeah, say I guess. You guys know at least one half of the twins is going to die without the other one at some point, right? 
That would be kind of sad. Uh, you're going to be <laughs> half your moment. Okay. All right. Um, as as you're looking around uh, outside, the cook loses his interest um, in the building and begins to glance about himself, um, completely confused by his surroundings. As he looks past the smoke and smog, he hears something maybe calling to him. From the side of the house, he looks over and sees a faint blue light down the street and to the left off of the road. Um, he doesn't remember anything that could generate that light there before, but he feels like he needs to go towards it. Um, as the rest of you continue down the road and begin to see it, uh, the cook is able to identify that he saw this earlier and now everybody else sees it. Jordan, as a <clears throat> reptile, do I have um, vision in dark light? Or I guess in darkness? I'll give you an advantage on perception checks peering into the darkness. Okay. Um, are you doing that? Well, he saw a light, right? The cook did. Uh, now you all, now you all see it glowing off to the side of the road. And how how far have we walked past the the fork to get to the house? Go basically just wants to keep looking <clears throat> behind him to see if he sees the shadows again. Okay, roll me one more perception check, and I'll just keep using it. If, if this is the same thing, you keep doing over and over. Just just this one more time, it's fine. Uh, oh. The higher it, it was 18. 18. 18. Hey Lou, okay. how's it going? Welcome um, in. Again, glancing over his shoulder uh, directly after the incident with the uh, with the tail. <laughs> um, Go does see the shadows again dart off this time, though. As he's peering through the darkness, the shadows moving away once again from the heat of the fog. The fog has now rolled back in um, away from the house that is now burned and has kind of enveloped the house. You feel the need to move down the street before the fire completely dies. Uh, as he peers back in, not only does he see the insectoids, the blobs, the humanoids, the homunculi kind of shapes mm. darting away, he sees a large shape, at least twice the size of a man. It doesn't move away right away. It stands completely still, as though pretending to be a tree, and then slowly turns its body and lumbers away without turning its gaze from Go. Uh, the strange thing Go realizes as someone with good survival instincts, is though this sends a chill up his spine, none of these footprints he can sense on the ground, they don't appear to be making any kind of vibration. So Go knows that they like exchange glances, like they saw each other? He can't see its face. But, but he, he, has, he has the feeling that it turned away from him, so it noticed him? He knows that it did. He oh. doesn't know how he does, but he knows that it was looking right at him. <laughs> Instead of being in the middle of the pack, <clears throat> <sorry. clears throat> I'm choking on pepper. My girlfriend poisoned me. He wants to go to the front of the pack. <clears throat> Run, runs to the front of the pack. Absolutely. Uh, so, because Go runs to the front of the pack in this instance, um, <laughs> uh, he looks off to the side of the road. Now he is the first to get here as the blue light is still generating now it becomes a piercing light that is filling the entire road if you walk past it you can no longer see through the darkness it generates this light that draws your attention immediately to it go looks in that direction and sees a small clay alcove has been created to dedicate to the god cornus the seer father this he is familiar with as the town before it worshipped their all-knowing all-father god worshipped Cornus it is the same god that the seer that they ran into earlier <clears throat> would have uh, would, would have been an acolyte to miniature handheld representations of the god are stacked around the base of a larger statue inside the alcove empty viscous candles whole, uh, sorry em, em, uh, <laughs> I apologize um, e empty candle holders litter the ground behind the well uh, right near a wooden kneeler. One candle remains lit directly in front of the statue, glowing with an azure light. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go directly. Does does hold on? Does go approach the light? Hell no. In okay. fact, if I can, go wants to paint a candle on himself. <laughs> Performance. <laughs> Performance check. I'm I'm painting a flame on myself because you noticed that the the building they went away. Natural twenty, Jordan. Quick as a flash, whips out this makeup kit, uh, pulling down. <laughs> really Wait, well, I don't down the Jordan, 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 for posterity's sake, I still have the black feathers on my arms. Yes. Uh, a candle, quick as a flash, goes up on his chest. He's even able to use the special makeup paint that he got uh, to emulate a kind of glow-in-the-dark light. Uh, to everyone else in the party, it looks like he is glowing with the same intensity uh, as this candle in front of him. He stands completely still with his chest to it, daring the candle to come closer. <laughs> he does not move. Oh, okay. He does not go towards whatever he saw. At this time, everyone else has caught up. Everyone has what? Oh boy. Everyone else has caught up and is now... Oh, I, uh, the orc, the orc is gonna go stand over by, uh, Glendale, and he's gonna look at him and he goes, my tummy feels funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just means that it's working as intended. <laughs> Dabu. <laughs> and, uh, can, can Pierre ask uh, Bo uh, about this this light that he sees and ask him that he did, what it like? Does he recognize it? Is it harmful? Go does not move an inch. He pretends to continue being a candle. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. Go song. Go song. Why you no speak? <laughs> oh my god, that was the first. This is like the second time we've heard Pierre speak. Uh, I love it. He's, he's, a, a, he's a quiet guy. Uh, he's right. I guess um, instead of doing nothing this time, go with like. Look at the uh, the candle, and, like move his head towards it, but not saying anything. Move his head to towards it. You mean he, like he nods towards the candle, trying to make him uh, make Pierre notice that you know to notice the candle. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, I think uh, Pierre at that time will look at the candle and use one of his knives and slowly reach forward to touch the candle with the knife. Okay. See if anything happens. Uh, Pierre takes his knife, reaching forward. He's unaware of the magic of the old seer god. Um, slowly reaching the knife towards the candle, catching his breath deep in his throat. He's known things tonight to be much different than they've ever been in his life. Um, he's seen a lot more death and carnage than he has in quite a while. As the tip of the blade comes in contact <sighs> With the wax of the candle, something creeps up Pierre's arm. Something warm. Something nice. Uh, Pierre feels a warmth flow over his body. His knees begin to buckle, and he falls directly on the kneeler in front of the candle. His arms fall to his side, the blade resting upon the ground. Uh, Pierre feels good. His body washes with the blessing of the seer god. He gets a plus one to attack rolls and heals for yes. 1d8. Nice. Yeah, all right. <laughs> That's give awesome. A, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and I guess uh, Pierre hasn't lost any health, so he doesn't heal for 1d8, um, okay. but he does get a plus one to attack rolls, which means that when you attack, not damage, uh, but when you attack, you have a better chance to hit okay. with your chef's knives. Uh, as Pierre oh, yes. stands um, from the candle and walks away, the candle continues to shine. Uh, it is it, it is inviting the rest of the party uh, who wishes to come and kneel upon the kneeler uh, to receive the blessing. Uh, the kneeler is only one person wide, so it can only be kneeled at uh, one at a time. Tell me who is going in what order. If you want to fight for it, roll strength chest against each other. Uh, so how does it fit Travis and myself? You have one thigh, so you can kind of kneel on it there, and we'll see what happens. 
feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you put your two knees down on your one thigh and see what happens. Jess, I'm gonna say it's out of character because I'm only buying, but we should row shampoo for it. Alright. The, the, the rock paper pursuit is not like kicking each other and they're not support. <laughs> Uh, we want, you want to like roll Oh, just, just in character, Robrek will talk to Mother's favorite and go, Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> I'm just gonna, uh, get like a stern, uh, confident, or, uh, like I'm sternly and just get ready for roll. Rock paper scissors. I'm distracted. Are we rolling d20s against each other? Sure, yeah. roll d20. Yeah, roll d20 against each other. Okay, uh, William, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Rubric, ba, 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 uh, <laughs> throws out a quick rock, um, at the same exact time, uh, that Mother's Favorite throws out a rock, but as Mother's Favorite hand lands, Rubric's hand changes to paper instantaneously, um, it can't tell because of the glow of the light, but it appears that, uh, Rubric won this. <laughs> uh, Mother's Favorite's gonna go, you cheated. <laughs> bah. And uh, I would like to kneel on the shrine unless somebody's trying to contest me for it. No, you already you, you said it. I'm saying if you guys want to, you guys can literally fight over it. So, cool. um, tells me otherwise, I am kneeling. Yeah, no, Glenn is just sitting back and kind of observing, seeing what everyone else is doing. Des couldn't care less. Okay, he cares off to the side, uh, just looking at his hands <laughs> rotating back and forth. Kneeling before the altar, uh, uh, the god of the of the seer god, um, the blue light washes over you. Also, you feel a warmth in your chest. Um, <laughs> all of the pain of tonight, all of the anxiety, is washed away. You get a plus one to attack, and you heal oh, for one d eight. That's so awesome. One d eight. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's go. That's just a rubric, right? Seven. Just for for now, yeah. Wow. Back, back to max health, let's go. Okay. Uh, also, Rubik will turn to, uh, because you said go standing next to the candle with a candle painted on him, correct? Is that, is that where you placed him? He's like right, he's in front of it. He, I, you know, I said you said you were approaching it, so no. So basically, go is farther back now, because he's oh, okay, at okay. like, yeah. Now, he's, now go is still in the center of the road, basically where he saw it. Standing oh, okay. with his chest to the candle, yeah. Well, I was going to have Rubik buy it and go, bah, and go goes, <laughs> lamb, tasty. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I was on the phone. Uh, can Mr. Hero walk up to the shrine, or is it like... <laughs> Mr. Hero needs me. Yeah. Mr. I, I saw some messages. Tell me what you're... Tell, you oh. tell me what your characters are doing. Okay, Mr. Hero's gonna shamble up to the shrine and look at the god uh, or goddess, whatever that is. It's a god. And go, oh, dear, dear, wonderful, benevolent deity of everything that I can ever care about. These demons have hurt me. Please grant the ability to smite them in your name. <laughs> the blue light continues to flicker. Uh, and you roll, right? Are you still you're kneeling? <clears throat> okay, so you already rolled it. Alright, sorry, sorry. Uh, he says that, I'm sorry, I didn't, as he does, a, uh, <clears throat> a warmth falls over his body, like the warmth that the other ones, uh, he falls to his knees, um, compelled to his knees by the by the altar. Uh, the light washes over him and his, his wounds begin to heal. He feels much better. He feels stronger, <laughs> heroic, maybe, even, perhaps, definitely. <laughs> and he gets a plus one to his attack rolls. He won't miss again. He will be a hero. The light continues to flicker. Can the orc walk up uh, to it and kneel down? <laughs> yeah. The only my only character, and he goes. Unless unless, unless Alex said something. Unless... Yeah, I, 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 Glenn is gonna try to push his way past the orc. <laughs> Give me strength checks. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say. Oh, fine, sir. Would you let me first? <laughs> uh, 
excuse me. <laughs> and he burps. <laughs> and he tries to walk past. <laughs> oh, so he doesn't allow him. Okay, so so if you're if you're if you're fighting over it, unless Glenn backs off at that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna back off. Glenn backs off at it. Okay. Oh, so I didn't uh, need to roll that. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Glenn backed off. Glenn didn't. Glenn didn't uh, contest. So, so the the orc uh, kneels down in front of the shrine and goes, "Ready to work." <laughs> Ready to work. Uh, as as the orc as the orc says that. All right, let me get my let me get my sheet real quick. Okay. The glow of the light begins to fill your body. The soft healing blessing. Heal one d eight. Hey, that time. tickles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in this, I'm not done. In this, in this hour of darkness, you feel a welcome reprieve. Your eyes reflexively close from the warmth as the light washes <laughs> over you, but reopen too light as you see the soft as your light flicker out. Oh, your heart miss me. As shadowy tendrils from the mist roll in around you. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh god. <laughs> I, knew, I knew he was gonna do something. Oh no! A five. <laughs> Too late. The fog coils around your ankles. Look out! You snap to your feet. The ravenous <laughs> black mist travels up your leg. Seizes hold of your very breath as you try for one last desperate gasp. The last thing you see before you're dragged screaming into the darkness is the four five eyes of your companion. <laughs> How could the gods have abandoned you? Zug zug. Oh, your, orcs, no. your, orcs, your orcs dead. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> losing it, bro. Oh, oh, my God. oh no! Yeah, I, I I felt like this was coming. I was like, "Yo, this is too simple, man." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the last the last thing he says before he gets pulled in is, "Me busy. Leave me alone." <laughs> 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 Farewell. <laughs> oh my god. And then, and then, and then, and then Pierre is like, Gosso, where you go? <laughs> oh <laughs> god. Uh, so, so now there's no light flickering on the altar? No. Okay. No. Glenn sees this. Is there any body parts left of the orc? Jesus Christ. There's nothing left. <laughs> okay, there's nothing there's left. There's nothing but black yeah. mist in front all of right. you. The mist rolls in as you all jump back <laughs> away from the orc getting dragged away. <laughs> now you are back on the road in the fading light. Oh, Glenn got the, lucky. The, the lamps. Well, Glenn is gonna is gonna walk <laughs> a little bit closer to it, and he he's just gonna touch the altar with the tail. The Minotaur tail. No, you can't, I'm sorry, you can't get you can't you can't get to the altar. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, okay. Mist, all right. The mist all right, so around, the, around the area. I'm just gonna turn around so casually. Well, that was a close one. <laughs> Jordan, oh, no. yeah. go go. will just go. Not for me. <laughs> Go is still standing there with the light painted on his chest. Oh no. Oh, no. Sorry, so raise it for yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. For our orc man. He said, there, he said there's lanterns on the road. road. Can the lanterns be a pain? Can we grab them? Are they high enough or low enough for us to reach them? You can certainly try to climb up to them. They're street lamps. They're they're hanging above you, they're 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 oil lamps, so they're 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 aflame. Um if you wish to try to climb to one and, and grab it, I'm not going to stop you. Can I give you a dexterity throw? <laughs> uh, I'll pass. <laughs> okay. No, knowing no, knowing okay. you, I'll, I'll, it, it, you're going to make Pierre climb up and he's going to fall to his death straight on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's up to you, you know dude. I, <laughs> Andrew, you, you have to think. You got to think. What would your character do? Not what, Andrew, what 
Yeah, not what, not what I would do. I'll, I, yeah. what, I, what I do is, 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 of no, is no concern to you. <laughs> See, yeah, you can match that. Yeah. Okay, if he yeah, doesn't want yeah. the, I mean, but honestly, if he doesn't want the, if you feel like he wouldn't want the lantern, or if he does want the lantern, so he can funny. consider it for a second. That's up to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, so Andrew, is, is he doing it or? He's not. He's not doing it. Okay. Well, he he would consider it, but he's only he's only a chef. Uh, go will go to his hero, Mr. Hero, and go. That's two fortunes out of five. <clears throat> oh. Okay. He's gonna cut on his fingers and uh. Oh, we still need that ale. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> um, okay, so I I didn't expect it to happen this way. Obviously, as a DM, things always happen in a weird fucking direction. So Jimmy has lost both of his characters. Okay. Uh, <laughs> high score. Yes, he is winning at the funnel. Um, <laughs> he is winning in reverse in, 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 in reverse golf rules. Uh, so we'll do one more encounter for tonight. We'll pick up next Tuesday unless someone's unless you guys are free this week. I don't really care. Um, at another date, but uh, we'll pick up next Tuesday after this next encounter because I want to let Jimmy roll up uh, new characters to use. Yeah. And I've yeah. I've taken back what I said earlier um, because these characters are so fucking amazing. And I love them. I want you guys to actually get me two more characters, like. Make them have them on backup so that if you do lose one, you can you can bring more. I mean, I could I could roll one up right now with with I mean, if you want me to while in the middle of all this, I don't mind. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, go ahead and do that. Like I said, we're gonna do one more encounter with these characters right here. You're gonna have to suffer the rev. I know you're on stream. I'm so sorry. But oh, you're just gonna have to set up for this one for this one thing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's totally fine, dude. We'll, uh, we'll get you. We'll get you back in the game. Uh, you know, not to meta, but you know, we want everyone to play, so we'll get you back in but the James, game. I have to say, yeah. your peon character was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Every character in this <laughs> is the yeah. Best. I think they're all really oh good. God. I also tried I was to waiting for you to say like he'll hold his face as a hand above his head or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty two so no got me. I, I really oh, tried to God. talk in in only in only quotes. I know. I was looking up the quotes and following along with you. <laughs> Something me doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Excellent. Oh. All right. I love how this is also like an exercise in you guys playing like evil characters. Like everyone's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be neutral evil. <laughs> Excellent. I just like playing the lizard man who absolves himself of literally everything. <laughs> yep. In, yes, indeed. Okay. It's gonna be hard. All right. Wait, I, I did I mess really it up a little bit, though. I don't think a lizard man would understand an abstract thing like a fortune, so I kind of messed up there. But that's uh, yeah. But whatever. It's your character. Maybe, yeah. maybe, he, maybe he gets that a little bit because he's religious or something. Um, so he understands prophecy like the lizard man from Warhammer. Uh, the, the prophet of Sotek. They uh, are. Okay. So. Um, Ooh. As shit. Cheddar away, corn away bread, from yum. The the death of the orc peon drag into the darkness of the mist. Um, especially Go hears this. Everyone else tries to block it out, moving down the road as swiftly as possible. Go begins to hear snapping of bones, the tearing of flesh. Uh, he looks back into the shadows. They appear to be congregating where he last saw the peon dragged uh, into the the fog. Um, you walk down and continue on your path towards the bells. They are tolling and a tolling. Uh, they are not it's getting to you. Um, the the uncertainty of the night and the fear creeps in all around you. But there's something even worse directly in front of you. A truly horrific scene lies in the street. Three loving sheepdogs. You used to pet them every day as you came back from work from the middle of the city to go onto your cottage at the corner of town. They appear to be gnawing at something. Pentril, the shepherd. One of the canines lifts his head and sniffs the air. Blood covers its muzzle. Bits of intestine and flesh hang from its slathered jowls as it cocks its head sideways, looking at you with curious recognition. Um, 
I want an animal handling check from the farmer uh, who Alex is playing. It's gonna be high. All right, Alex, you got this. Roll high. Roll tide. Nice. Fifteen. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, the dogs seem more curious than aggressive at the moment. It's a strange and paradoxical scene. It's almost surreal. Their mouths covered in the viscera of their former master as they look on at you in familiar faces, slowly leaving their heads lower and they growl deeply. Deeper than it seems a dog would be able to, it almost appears as though there are two growls emanating from each beast. Um, your farmer knows instinctively to freeze. All right, guys, I put exactly up a poll for my next is, character. Stopping every muscle in his body. The lazy, lackadaisical <clears throat> farmer has practiced this quite a bit, and he's able to stand as still as a plank of wood. The rest of the characters should follow suit if they can. Give me a constitution saving throw on everybody right now. Oh, okay. good luck, Except guys. Except for the farmer. So, uh, I, I guess I don't I don't need one. I'm going to go ahead and just call that as Alex. I don't need one for your artist now. Let's, let's just say uh, he's already scared stuff. Okay. 10, 15. Uh, did everyone touch me? Uh... Oh, roll twice. For them, I thought it was the same roll. Five. You said roll for each. I thought. Uh, did I screw up? I was just gonna do one. Um, so that's okay. <laughs> Wait, Real what? quick though, roll ten the first time, but also Jordan. Our artisan gets a minus one for con. Does that act for both of them? Because like, uh, no, 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 no. I just wanted one roll from everybody. Um, what did you? What did you roll? What did you roll, Andrew? Eighteen. Okay. Uh, and I think, okay, wow, everyone rolled above a 10. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, wow, vote. Good. Oh, yay. Um, so, guys, if you have pets at home, feed them, scratch yeah, them, yeah, pet yeah, them, yeah. love them. Uh, so does, in does honor the of Dasheen. The great Dasheen. He's dead. I'm sorry. I don't know if that was, if that was clear. He's, uh. Um, Thank you, Jossie. No, no, no. Alex. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, uh, yeah. you you see him. Yeah, freeze. put up a, a vote so you guys can uh, Unless you vote for my next two characters. This con saving throw is to you guys want to vote. Still. If you don't want to, let me know. Yeah, definitely, Moo. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. What, uh, if he said anything. No, you know instinctively what to do. Um, because uh, you watch this, it's like seeing the red lights turn on in a car uh, as they hit their brakes. You slam also on your brakes your entire body. Everyone's nervous system shuts immediately as though snapped in a bear trap. Every muscle in your body is held completely still. You feel the wind rip at your head. You hear the bells ringing in your ears. Sweat feel better. To drip from your <laughs> I hope your sinus infection dies. Fingertips. The dogs. <clears throat> no, sorry, go ahead, James. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Jimmy? Yeah, I'm good. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> where was I? Yes. Very tense moment, Jimmy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> You're all completely still. A second, two seconds, a minute. You have no idea how much time is passing as these dogs stare and growl, uh. stare and <laughs> dribble, and then slowly begin to back away, going back to their meal, eating Henriel the farmer. Alex's farmer begins to move slowly, slowly off, to another side road, away from where the dogs are. You move past them without incident. Uh, go ahead, William, sorry. Did you no, want to you're fine. That moment? You're fine. I, I was just gonna ask if the uh, go could tell if the mist, and you said we were sitting there for a minute, so I didn't know if go could tell if the mist was getting closer to them. He, he, I mean, you wouldn't have moved unless you want to. <laughs> if you want to look back, I mean, Riskier, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you said you were standing still, so no, nah, he didn't see at the moment. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that that encounter was much faster uh, than I expected. We have, we can actually get to one more encounter. Do it. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, mingle for a second. Let me, let me, let me, um, let me, let me 
coordinate myself real quick. Sorry, guys. Sounds like I definitely prepared this much. Don't worry. I did. I prepared more. I just didn't prepare for you guys to like for for, oh. for everything to happen. No, D, no DM is completely prepared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking break. <laughs> you want to prepare for us to take a half hour on crows, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there were ravens! <laughs> Dez, uh, Dez turns to Mr. Hero. Uh, what'd you think about my technique of sitting all still like? Uh, I picked it up from you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look at you and go... You almost sold me. He's taking his tongue out more and had more of a death row like this. And I want to fall to the ground and play dead. Performance check. <laughs> <laughs> what would what, you let it down? 15. Sorry. Ooh, 15. Artisan 1. Alright, so mm -hmm. one of my characters is going to be Artisan. Finally! Uh, in a weird twist of fate, when he is not under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Stiffening his body completely, grasping. At what his is it going to be? Falling. What should we be? This time, not obviously breaking his fall. His tongue flies from his <laughs> mouth as his legs curl uh, up past his nice black slacks. Uh, oh. here, uh, go. We'll see this and go. Hero, no, and like shake him. <laughs> and he, move. he wants to go up to the farmer and go, why? And like <laughs> the collar of his shirt. <laughs> Uh, uh, sure, he is hey, you're, you're using, using clownfish, by the way, for that. You're you're half gnome right now. Sounds like you ate the gnome. Oh, whoops! I'm whole. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I assure you, he is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Watch, and I'm gonna give him a little like kick, a tiny kick, like not enough to do damage, but just to tell him, hey, show's over. You can get up. I'm going to stay dead. <clears throat> Pierre will go, uh, go. be oh, sorry, standing wait. by the side. <laughs> Pierre will be standing by the side, and looking then, at yeah. uh, looking at Mr. Hero, and do a slight golf clap and say, "Three minutes." <laughs> <laughs> go wants to hold a knife to the farmer's throat. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Now, nah. 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 ask him again. Why? <laughs> I sure you hate you. Mr. Hero, was it? I think it's time for you to get up now before I bust this lizard skull in and <laughs> tell it to our gnome friend here. He's he gonna back himself up? Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna uh, pick it up and look at the uh, gnome and go, See, my friend, it's all about holding your medal against no matter what threats come your way. It's gonna turn to go and go, I am perfectly okay, as you can see. Nothing can harm Mr. Hero. Go will sheath his knife, turn to Mr. Hero, and just, just kind of kneel. <laughs> okay. All right, excellent. <clears throat> Jordan's like, that's not the encounter I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was yeah. going to be a brawl. Uh-huh. I mean, PvP is encouraged in this one, I guess. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Should I get up? Travis didn't get up that time? I was rolling an attack roll. Why not? Kill yourself, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Wait, while we're at a lull, William, what was Rubik's plan in the burning building? I thought we were throwing the kid out the window, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I so about so it. you can you can see why I a rubric understood when you looked at the kid. You looked at the window. He's like, oh yeah, great minds think alike. But then you jumped out the fucking window. <laughs> I thought about it, realized no, we're guards. We're probably at least caring somewhat about the town. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, Jimmy. Hmm. Hold on, dip dip down into the uh, into the other part of the Discord with me, real quick. Okay. Um, everyone else can can hang out for just a second. Just dip down into For the King. I just want to I just want to tell you something. Okay. Okay. Did you ever watch uh, Lyric play the firefighting game? Hello. Okay. Oh, there's no music uh, down here. So for this next part, I want to integrate your characters. Um, if have you been thinking about new characters? Have you been talking oh, on the stream? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've been thinking about characters, yes. Are you good to go? Uh, ooh. Like, roll up two new ones real quick? Uh, two? Sure. I can, I can pull it out of my butt. <laughs> you can pull two out of your butt real quick? I mean, I'm not, no pressure. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. move, I'll do it, I'll do one more encounter. Yeah, yeah, I can pull, are you, are you, I can pull. Good? Yes. Okay, all right. So, uh, the two characters are going to be, uh, we're coming up to a, a you know, just for posterity, because I want you to be able to be part of this. We're coming up to a bakery. Okay. Um, your your characters have uh, just dug three graves. Okay. Um, they buried two people, um, and the third grave they didn't dig. So they found two bodies in the side of the road. They pulled over to the front of the bakery and buried two of them. One of the people that they buried has a silver knife in their chest. Your characters would have known this, but I'm just going to tell you right now, they have no objection to somebody taking it. They have um, no no objection to someone taking the, the dagger? Taking the knife, the dagger. Okay. Um, they, buried the two, they buried the two corpses. If people <clears throat> want to dig up the graves, they most absolutely can. Just letting you know, uh, I just want your characters to be okay with that because that's kind of part of the next encounter if if people want to do that they see a glint that's what draws them over they see the dagger kind of half buried the first grave however the one that you buried these other two graves near you did not dig you don't know where it came from you just saw a mound saw two bodies and figured you'd bury them near it okay okay and it's in front of the bakery so we're coming up to that part you ready with your characters they don't have to be they don't have to be they don't have to be as funny and amazing as the last ones but yes uh, okay, right, you uh, you I sure? think one of them is going to be an artisan. I we're gonna make him a, mm -hmm. a the baker that worked at that house. Um, sure, baker. That will be. A... Is he going to be? Is he going to be Gerda's husband? Let me know. Whose husband? Gerda, the the dead woman. She was a baker as well. Is he going to be her husband? What, or is he a different what's baker? Gerda's race? Gerda was human. Okay, sure. It's Gerda's husband, the artisan, the. The the uh okay the baker, and then the other character will be, hey, we haven't done one, will be an acolyte. Uh, an acolyte. Mm -hmm. No one has one of those. I can't pick this up for some reason again. But I'll do the acolyte as well. Uh, <clears throat> I, I I'll get it because I, I uh I um oh I locked them. Wait no! Uh, apparently a glass just, a, just, apparently uh, a, a glass blower is another one. So maybe I'll yeah. Wait no. But he lives in the bakery. Okay. You got one. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you both of them. Nice. All right. <clears throat> okay. So what's the other? What's the other one you said? Nacolite. Uh, what's his? What's his race? And it'll be a lady. Uh, you know? she will be a lady halfling. Got it. Okay. Uh, yes. And I don't know what god she is an acolyte of, but she was helping bury the bodies for the church. Okay. This is for her religious purposes. Once again, the first mound, you didn't dig. You don't know what's in it. Uh, okay, got it. Just for, like I said, for posterity. Okay, so, uh, let's, uh, let's let's jump back up because we're going to start the next encounter you just you just integrate your characters as 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 well as possible okay okay cool all right let's go okay cool hello 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 all right i'm back okay ah, we're, we're, we're moving on delete this rubbish <clears throat> delete this okay thank you um all right uh i did it for you as you guys narrowly escaped cutting each other's throats, this is the brilliant performance of Mr. Hero. It was uh, quite convincing. You come along the side of the road in front of a baker. Uh, sorry, I apologize. Uh, where am I? Um, okay, yeah. Uh, you come along the side of the road in front of a bakery are three freshly dug graves, pale, rigid fingers sticking upturned from the dirt, and a glint of metal catches your eye under the loose dirt. The oh, fog encroaches on either edge of the turned earth, but goes no further. You see the two grave diggers, 
in front of the of the corpses. They are burying the last. Uh, they are burying the last grave, the one with the glint coming from it. They appear to be a halfling female, swaddled uh, in clothes of an acolyte. Uh, you've seen her around the church on Sundays, gathering people and ushering them in. The second you recognize as the baker, Gerda's husband. Gerda being the woman in the street earlier with a kid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you're echoing somehow. The one with the kid. Uh, oh, you're better. Yeah, you're the, better. One with, the one with the, the one with the demon kid that tried to oh. eat Mr. Hero. So that's yeah. the I'm the husband of that girl. Okay. Yeah, but that kid wasn't yours. That was the uh, that was what I said. Okay. So uh, that your character doesn't did not have a child. Got it. Okay. Did Mr. Hero recognize the husband? Uh, yes, well enough. Um, you do, you do know this person. Um, he is, the, he is the, he's, he's the, he's the baker, uh, who you tried to s take the wife away from. Is there like history of animosity between us, or is like he does, or was that like not? Yeah, it's up to you. You liked his wife. This hero's gonna pretend he doesn't see him. <laughs> what was that? What was his name again? Uh, James, what's his name? Uh, the baker? His name is Baguette mm -hmm. de Fromage. <laughs> Alright, just so you know, if it's French, it has to be du. Is oh, he doesn't speak uh, French. That's just what his name is. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't wait, wait. Speak French. <laughs> 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 le, le dette du fromage? <laughs> fucking, uh, Andrew's, Andrew's over here like, Andrew's over here like, you step on my fucking toes, man. You steal my fucking dick. Oh no, he doesn't, no, he doesn't, he doesn't sound, sound French. French. He doesn't sound French. It's a bad shit, it's a bad shit. He has like, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, hold on. Andrew, I hear you talking in real life, but they can't hear you in Discord. Hold on, I think you messed up your mic settings, bro. No, Andrew. Andrew! Alright, sorry. He was going ham in there too. I can hear you in real life, they can't hear you in Discord. I still can't hear you, Andrew. Relaunch oh, Discord on your phone. Alright, try to leave the call and come back. Bring it over here. Just try to leave the call and come back. <laughs> test, test. Oh, wait, oh, here. Oh, it's, oh, it's working. Oh. I'm right. alive. Alright, now go to your room and go ham. I heard you going ham. Then go to your room and go yeah. ham. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Alright, where was I? <laughs> well, I don't know. Where were you? Oh, so I, I walk up to uh, the baker and say, Let that do fromage. It's been so long, my friend. How is how is the bread coming out these days? <laughs> Everything oh. is going really terribly. <laughs> do you see oh, what I'm oh. doing here? I'm burying somebody. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, ear rape. <laughs> what do you think it's like? All of my loaves are flat. <laughs> I'm just gonna butter in his breast just like your marriage. Why is gonna approach him and he's go I have a potion for whatever that is. <laughs> For what is? What potion do you have? For what? Uh, never mind. Fred, <laughs> use this function. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Lovely. <clears throat> Help okay, us! Uh, Help us bury these bodies! 
This is terrible! <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing, it's too funny. Uh, Robert would just go, ba 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 to Mother <laughs> Fever. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna look at his brother and go, I'm not touching them. Matt? <laughs> you do it. I'm gonna stay here. Matt, Matt. And Rubric will uh, approach the two people digging the graves. Uh, I'm you, said, gonna... you said two grave diggers, right? Mm hmm. If the two grave diggers are, uh, are James's <clears throat> characters the, the halfling acolyte and the human beggar. Uh, I wanna address like... the other one. Okay. What'd you say, Travis? Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying I'm gonna stand with my arms crossed. <laughs> You're still coming with me. <laughs> Can I drag my leg? You're my translator. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to the other one and go, ba ba, and I'm gonna gesture towards the shiny thing I see. Uh, towards. The, uh, okay. Uh, so she she steps back and she waves her hand towards it, and she says to you. Take whatever you need. I don't know what was left behind, but it looks like a dagger. Perhaps silver. Uh, can Robert reach down and grab whatever that glint was? Yep. So, uh, Robert reaches down into the grave, uncovering the soft dirt that was just buried by the baker and the acolyte. As he does, he uncovers the pale corpse. Uh, of another villager. This one he doesn't seem to recognize, but he thinks he might have been one of the farmhands that used to hang around the outskirts of town. Uh, in his you chest... touch that? <laughs> jetting from the center, uh, vertically through the ribs, so most of the blade is sticking out, but clearly in the heart is a silver dagger. A cursed, actually, as the blade is curved like a flame. Uh, it still sparkles brightly, even though uh, it has been covered in dirt. As he grabs it, he feels the crunch and crackle of the bones as he pulls it from the corpse. The black ichor of the dried blood slides off the edge. And one silver dagger plus one attack to your inventory. Nice. So it's 1d4 plus one? Correct. <clears throat> Favorite's going to recoil away from the dagger. You said it's dirty, right? No, it slicked clean as soon as you pulled it free. Oh, so no dirt, no nothing. Yep, that is a that it, strangely enough, yeah, it appears, it appears very polished. You need to wash your hands. Bah. Who's <laughs> <Ooh>, whatever. <laughs> um, I don't know what kind of like pack I have, but I guess I'll just like shine it towards the group and then try to put it away unless someone says something. The dagger? The dagger. <clears throat> no, I won't. Oh, uh, James, excuse me. Oh, James, you can just say that. Um, you don't recognize them. Uh, the two people that you're that you're burying, uh, they haven't been into your store, um, and they never came to Sunday Mass. Uh, but you knew them. You know, you know that they are villages around that town. They have the luck. Okay. Oh, well, that I'll just put the dagger away. Uh, well, actually, as, as a guard, you said it has some weird shape to it. Can I yeah. tell the, um, not, not the history of it, but like the, the make, I guess? You want to know the... What kind of, because it doesn't, doesn't look like the, the dagger I've seen today, right? No, it doesn't look like a normal stiletto that uh, a normal person would carry for dinner occasions in self-defense. Perhaps, uh, yeah. um, maybe, maybe the acolyte might have known something about it beforehand. Maybe she did a little. Any? Does she have any information? Both of you can roll, but but I'm only gonna I'm only gonna have both of you roll. Uh, no, that's fine. William, I'm just I don't need to roll. I just didn't know if she knew anything. That's all. Sick! I got a uh, natural one. Natural one. That's a dagger. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks kind of looks 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 pretty, night, pretty pointy to you. Um, you're not even sure if it's actually silver. It's just uh. <laughs> so uh, Robert will. Uh... Oh, so go ahead, Travis. Oh, sorry. Motherfucker's gonna point at the dagger and you go. Love you, Joss. Thanks for hanging out. And 
towards the enemy. And to that, Rubik will wait in both Say hands. goodbye to he's Death Killer like, and Baronon. And go, huh. He's not sure it's a dagger, so he's gonna take the handle in and bite on it to see if it's silver. Uh, biting into the handle of the dagger uh, reveals a soft metal. Um, the whole thing appears to kind of mush in your mouth in a certain way that other metals wouldn't. Uh, it seems silver enough. Even an idiot like Roder <laughs> figure it out. Uh, he's just going to shrug and put it away. Okay. Uh, go ahead and James give me a history check. History, okay, cool. That's wisdom, so you get a plus one. Oh, oh no, it sorry. was so close to a 20. It is a four, uh, five total on history. Uh, though an acolyte, and uh, are you are familiar with relics, but you're not familiar with weaponry. You kind of slept during that part of seminary. Um, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> okay. Travis, you spelled peril wrong. I figured I did. Don't call them out. <laughs> it's rude to call people out on their spelling. Well, uh, I'm, good to, I'm good to continue down the road, and just I guess I'll just I'll just wave at the the uh, crypt keepers, guard, grave diggers, whatever. I'll I'll bat and thanks to the acolyte. Bat. Is anybody else doing anything at this juncture? Uh, I think Pierre will uh, apologize, and he'll say, "Oh, Gosson, I I did not know. I I I apologize. You know, my my condolences to whoever this being may be." I did not. Well, I did not know who who died here. I don't know this person. I'm just burying them. This has nothing to do with me. It's the whole town. Do you see what's going on here? Everything's a mess. We're all gonna die. <laughs> nice. Where did you even come from? <laughs> <laughs> to that, Go will respond and go, Well, I'm pretty sure when one male human and one female human <laughs> oh, uh, give uh, the, me. Sorry, the, ac the acolyte will step forward and she'll politely ask please give us some information you see this whole town is in shambles and we are a little bit concerned for our safety and everyone else's whereabouts are you headed Perhaps the goddess of the full moon can help us. Uh, can go look into the sky? Is the moon full? The moon is always full when I'm around. <laughs> can, go, can go roll for being creeped out? Yes. Um, next, you can just tell me if go is creeped out. Uh, but, creeped you, out. You can, but you can go, because you can roll if you want to. Uh, <laughs> So, the, looking into the sky, uh, as a matter of fact, not only is the moon full, but it's a harvest moon. Uh, it's turning red and orange as it rises into the sky as the night drags on. Uh, you see the, the, the light from the sky getting more and more ominous. When she notices that you notice, she gives you a curtsy, but with her back facing, her, <laughs> back, her back facing you. <laughs> <laughs> What a cool and interesting. <laughs> nice. Dark you notice that she wears assless chaps. <laughs> she, seems, she, 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 she seems like a handsome devil with a dark secret. Christ. Uh, What'd you say, Andrew? Yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna say the group, but myself. Could I uh, bring bring uh, at least I guess both of them up to speed? on all the occurrences that happened thus far. Yes, and I'll just let you say exactly that, that he brings them up to speed. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Do we still have two children with us? You have one. Wait. You left, you left Jonathan in the street. Oh, we left Jonathan in the street. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up Jonathan and took him by the hand, you left his ass in the street. 
That's a good butt, Gail. Listen, That's a good butt. I haven't changed personalities yet. I can't make executive decisions. <laughs> go, go, go look for him. <laughs> I thought we were his age. We already won over 12 men. It's taking time for you to grow up. <laughs> still have you still you still you still Claire is still clutching for dear life to uh to our boy over here Ricky and um yeah you left Jonathan's poor dumbass in the street. Good. That'd be great. God. Some <laughs> God. Chess, we're some pretty shit guards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty <laughs> shit guards. <laughs> <laughs> we don't Better than strong thunder. Watch out. What? I thought you said something. Oh, I thought we're better than strong thunder duck. <laughs> True. Thunder juice. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna miss these characters after I murder them. I yes. Well, we, I, I miss <laughs> I miss the orc. What do you think my next PC is gonna be, Jordan? <laughs> oh, I already know. Uh, De Deco man. Uh, okay. Um. Like I said, is is there is there anything else going on? I will I will conclude for the night here if uh, you guys are not doing anything else in this journey. Uh, I guess Go will walk up to the Acolyte because you know she curtsied him and showed him her ass. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go. Mm, what name? Um, my name is Amara Short Clerk. <laughs> Me Go. Go where? To the moon? <laughs> go look up and go... No, no, how? Are you singing to me? <laughs> <laughs> when I said you guys can PvP, I didn't mean you could, you could, you could ERP over here, right? Wait, did he say singing? What yeah, say? yeah. Uh, <laughs> go, go, let's go. No. Make up your mind. I'm very confused. <laughs> go so how go go to moon? Oh, you have to praise it. Oh God! <laughs> the insinuation. <laughs> go, go doesn't understand the concept of praise, so he's just gonna turn his head and look puzzled. I will teach you the way of the full moon. <laughs> it just takes uh, some uh, effort. Go, go will take a half step back, look back towards him, towards the darkness, and go, no time. Maybe on way back. <laughs> the way okay. back is well, indeed the way forward for the moon. <laughs> Oh my god! This is, this, this, okay, because this is the last part of the night, I have just let this go on. Is anyone doing anything? No, no, we're trying to make everybody uncomfortable. Okay, okay succeeded. Alright, so, with that, uh, our heroes, now, now, now plus a very spastic, uh, uh, baker, and a very uncomfortable halfling. Um, <laughs> I don't know, Jordan, she's kind of thick, though. But she's kind of thick, though. Uh, re rejoin the path deeper into the night. They begin, uh, they continue their travel. The mist creeping around them. What horrors lie around the next corner? Uh, we'll have to find out next week. Uh, oh, thanks, God. guys, for this session. Um, yeah. That was really fun. That was way funner than I thought it would even be. Yeah, that My was favorite good. part is when both Jimmy's characters died. No! <laughs> <laughs> I was sad about the, the orc. orc too. I was sad about the orc. I mean, the, you did, I don't even feel bad for that one. You did that. That was you. <laughs> that wasn't even me. What, the orc? The Minotaur. No, the, the Minotaur. Yeah, the Minotaur. Yeah, he 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 sort of deserved that. You you basically just told me kill my character, and I was just like, okay. I was gonna try to drag the bodies out. Yeah. yeah, and you tried to drag them out of a burning building. Brilliant, brilliant deduction there. Yeah. Uh, Ponty and the orc, and, the orc hit a the orc hit a bad roll. I do have to, I gotta say, but I thought that was really interesting that the orc hit a bad roll right after you could have sacrificed fucking that 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 gnome to it. 
I can't believe that they're two. The gnome and fucking Mr. Hero. I can't believe you're not dead yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, Mr. Hero is really they're cool. They're two super interesting characters. You are really trying to die. <laughs> it's obviously, the hero can't die. Jordan needs a hero of this anime. If, he's, if, if he survives, I'm a bad DM. I retire. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying my hardest to never attack with him and just play dead. I know I attacked once all the crows. I'm going to I'm going to stop DMing Storm King's Thunder if he if he survives. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never DM ever again. <laughs> God yeah. damn it! That's obviously a lie because if he survives, I think it would be fucking amazing. <laughs> But um, I'm just yeah, waiting for the that. twins' untimely death. That's that's really. I just. I I'm, waiting for the, I'm waiting for the twins to survive because that's fucking insane. If they if if you played a conjoined twin, <laughs> and <you win. laughs> in like a in like a meat grinder final campaign, it is going to get more difficult from here on out. Obviously, yeah. just like an ending and, part. Uh, Andrew, you, you did well for your first D and D. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, nice shot, Andrew. man. Yeah. Congratulations, man. You did great. It means a lot to me. Seriously. And it's gotta be even harder because you don't get the full access to like D and D capabilities. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Playing and and being attentive and being around and whenever I need you to roll, like rolling immediately for me. Yeah, dude, you were spot on. Good yeah. job, brother. Trying my best here. You know, I have a shitty ass computer, so I think I might need to invest in something a little better. Also, no homo. It's super cute that you say flipping instead of fucking. So. I'll let you know that. Yeah, so, 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 you know, that's pretty, here, that's you know, pretty, that's pretty adorable, so... Keep the ads on. <laughs> Gotta keep the ads on, that's for you, Jimmy. <laughs> he doesn't even know you, that, man. Yeah, He's oh, thinking about you. your, your pocketbook. What no, a good guy. Thank you, thank what a you. Hero. <laughs> Yo, that was, hey, quick, quick question. Did you have, like, an arbitrary number in mind when you had that torch out? The blue torch? No, I... It did not have an arbitrary number in mind. I had an exact number in mind. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Every time, I'm, unless unless I'm having you roll something retarded, like unless you guys are like, can I roll to be surprised or like whatever, then I'll pick like I, I normally pick like like even numbers like five through. I, I'm I'm never I'm never that like oh you have to pick thirteen. Like I'm like you know fifteen is hard. You know ten is ten is normal difficulty. Like. So that that's kind of how I am as a DM. But, yeah. Um, whenever, whenever, like, if it seems like it's written into the thing, there's an actual number. None of these numbers are arbitrary. Oh, wait, that all, makes, that's your. Right. I have all these numbers written down. <laughs> oh, let me say. I thought person. that would only erase mine. Why the fuck did it erase yours? I was trying to shoot the whoop at Jordan, and you ruined it. <laughs> you're not actually shooting the whoop. You're, you're doing the you're doing the orc peon after he drank the potion. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Jimmy's characters made all really good decisions. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Drink this potion. Good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he gets dragged away. He's like, Lok Taro Gar, friends. <laughs> like, Wave at you if he's like, fucking. Zug Zug companions. <laughs> Zug Zug companions is dragged away. Oh, wow. Well, Jesus. Fork peons are meant to die. <laughs> <laughs> Something he <laughs> should have just attacked the gravekeeper so Jimmy gets no characters. <laughs> kill, kill him. Just, kill him. Yeah. just the extra two. Oh, we've just murdered them it's super fast. That's uh, yeah. alright. You you got you guys would have attacked and Alex would have rolled all natural ones and his characters would have died from the weird <laughs> incoming damage, like falling on their own daggers and shit. The hero would just keep narrowly escaping death. Constantly. Oh, that's true. That's true. Or grunts. Good point, Gail. I, I, uh, Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero got damaged just by One being second. on the ground, and he's still alive. <laughs> I, I thought he was dead a long time ago. True. He, honestly, he is rather convincing. At the, he at is the rather blue, convincing. He is. He is. At the at the blue at the uh at like the blue candle thing, I had completely forgotten that that character existed. You hadn't mentioned him in so long, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, who? Mr. Hero at the blue oh. at the, at the, at the play, at like the healing shrine. How did you shrine. forget? I don't know. I forgot the farmer existed. I feel like Alex was playing the the gnome. 
That's why. I, well, yeah, he's a little more interesting. That's why I asked for the farmer with the with the dog things. I remembered. I was like, oh yeah, I went over to Alex because I was thinking of the gnome, and then I was like, oh wait. <laughs> yeah, I mean that was kind of my fault because I I like made him to be just someone who doesn't really give a shit. But I feel like he has to come along in the adventure anyway. But I just did. anytime <laughs> anything was happening, I didn't feel like he would be the active one doing anything just because. He's a furbog and he doesn't want to deal with society, so he doesn't give a shit either way. So I figured I'd just be the fucking. Hello! Just What's up, Raiders? Hello, <laughs> welcome in! And... Oh I gosh, he needs sleep. Hell no. Yeah, you're going a long time, man. Hey, so Hunk! Masterfully. What's going on? I, I welcome in, Raiders. How are you? Falcon! We've been invaded! What's up, Scotty? How are you guys? Right off the bat. Guys, if you I don't have Falcon followed him. and you're in our chat, Out, do yourself I a favor and follow Black like Falcon. Like someone who he is the man. Good. He's a, he's a snake like, also, literally, the first, first, the first potion I wanted to give someone was just a bottle of pee. But you like said it was like some black liquid. So I was like, all right. How well, was your Minecraft in, man? Works. Hello. <laughs> That's how are you guys? Like, I'm positive this thing is going to cure you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet on your life so, it'll work. You guys I, are just coming I in. We play. were playing a I, I don't want to keep dunking one on, shot uh, on another D &D player horror who stream. Of this, but like that's that is how you play a craven character. Like just like that. Cuz there are, you know, people play edgy dark craven rogues and then they're pieces of shit and they step over everyone's roleplay, but like fucking this character, I got to I got I have to take notes like as a DM. Like, <laughs> yeah. You got yeah. Control his strategy there, right, Jordan? He was strategic yeah. in his strategy. Of course, he was strategic in uh, very very tactical. Strategy. Very tactical. No. He tactically ran to the burning building for the minute. Yeah, I tactically jumped into a pyre of burning wood. <laughs> he just killed it, Nick. I, I forget the joke, so I was like, it just would be stupid if he didn't at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, well, I kind of didn't want to, I didn't, again, I was being passive with the furbog, I didn't want to be too passive with the gnome, so I was like, let me fucking rush in there and chop off a tail quick. Dude, your, your gnome is unbelievable. I, I love that voice. That, 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 <laughs> that's not a funny. single party yeah. member commented a conjoined twin jumping out of a two-story building and landing. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> this really jumped on your phone. Well, I just well, love that you are playing you are, a conjoined twin. That's beautiful. You didn't know that until no, just no, now. No, no, I knew that. Yes, I knew when we were when we were setting up the other day. But oh, oh, it's just oh, fun yeah, to yeah, see yeah, it yeah. happen. Like to see them not be able to react, especially in the middle of combat, where like one wants to do something but you have to wait for the other. Just perfect. 